Sometimes we go through difficulties, we go through trials, we go through times of temptation. Is this something that's normal or are we on the wrong path? We're going to find out in this Sunday's liturgy. In this second Sunday of Lent, we have the beautiful story of our Lord Jesus Christ going up uh, to Mount Tabor and taking with him the three apostles, St. John, St. Peter, and St. James. And he transfigured, he transfigured himself and became transfigured. He showed to them a glory that normally in their daily lives together with our Lord Jesus Christ, they didn't see in him. But this glory was the glory that God always had. Actually, our Lord Jesus Christ came down to earth and he assumed a body that could suffer in order that he could suffer for each and every one of us, that he could offer these sufferings for the sins of mankind, for the individual sins of all of us. And with it, through his sufferings, we would be saved. The gates of heaven would be open for us that have faith in him. But on Mount Tabor, he did something that was different. He took them up and he was transfigured. He actually took on the body that normally he should have, which is the glorious body. This glorious body is the body that we will have when our bodies resurrect and we enter into heaven not only with our souls, but with our bodies. If by the grace of God, we have faith in our Lord Jesus Christ and we love Him, we love Our Lady, then we will be there all together in heaven. Now, our Lord Jesus Christ wanted to show them this because He wanted to give them strength. He wanted to give them uh, faith. He wanted to make them um, able, capable of confronting the difficulties of seeing him be insulted, seeing him be mm, crucified, seeing him die, and that they would not lose faith in this. Why? Because they had seen him on Mount Tabor and saw that the Father spoke to them. They saw him between St. Elias and St. Mo and Moses, and that it wasn't just a dream. They all saw it, the three of them saw it together. Uh, it was something that was true. Our Lord Jesus Christ did this to give them strength in their trials. And that's what happens many times with each and every one of us. We have trials, we go through trials, and if we didn't have trials, we wouldn't have the way to merit our entrance into heaven. God could not give us uh, a reward because we would never have done anything of true merit in order to obtain this. But we don't have strength for it. So what does God do? Many times He gives us very powerful, sanctifying graces, wonderful graces whereby we feel that we're touching heaven, we feel so happy, that everything seems to be so wonderful and that we are already on the path to our Lord Jesus Christ, to Our Lady, to sanctity. But then come the trials. In these trials, we have to remember these wonderful graces that sometimes God gives to us. We have to be always on the alert against uh, discouragement that can come from these trials. And we always have to have our eyes on our Lord Jesus Christ on Mount Tabor. In le to a lesser degree, our Lord Jesus Christ shows himself to each and every one of us under some circumstances as if it were on Mount Tabor. He gives us a joy. We can set up three tents for our Lord Jesus Christ, for, our, for ourselves to be next to him, for Elias and for Moses. What does this mean? 
that we always have to have confidence within our trials. And when we undergo temptations and trials, it's, we shouldn't look at them as something that's absurd for us. For every Catholic that is looking for uh, sanctity, that's what our Lord Jesus Christ tells us, that trial is normal, but that we have to put our strength in our Lord Jesus Christ, in the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you always. Salve Maria. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.